book talk for um, traditional literature, I chose The Lion, the Lion and the Mouse. Um, and it's an Aesop's fable. I like this book a lot. It has some pretty basic pictures, but it's got a, a great moral to the story. I like how in the back of the book kind of gives you a little info about the author uh, or more of the il illustrator and Aesop who would have been the author, but they don't really know. They don't really know where he lived. Um, it says here maybe somewhere in a country near Greece about 2,500 years ago. So these have withstood the test of time. And I think what's nice about fables is they're, they give us um, some moral reasoning to think about. And I like this one because it's uh, a good deed should be returned. If someone does something nice for you, you should do something nice for them. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, and so this book, uh, as it starts out, obviously on the front it says a good deed should be returned and then it just starts out um one day a tiny mouse was rushing through the forest she carried one ear of wheat it was going to be a nice meal for her children the mouse hurried to get back home for her children were all alone but she was also very tired just then she came to a soft brown tree stump it looked very comfortable a short rest won't hurt she thought the mouse yawned, and settled down for a quick nap. Suddenly, the mouse heard a terrible roar. The stump shifted and shook. The mouse realized that she had not been sleeping on a stump at all, but on a lion's paw. And the lion lifted the mouse to his huge mouth and smacked his huge lips hungrily. Please don't hurt me, cried the mouse. I'd be such a tiny meal for you. Only a small mouthful. My poor children will wonder where I am, and if I don't come home soon, please spare me. And, you know, the lion says, ha, 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 whatever. What are you going to, what could you ever do for me? And he makes the lion laugh. And the lion says, you can't do anything for me, but since you made me laugh, I'm going to let you go. And there goes the mouse. And so the way this story goes, the lion doesn't think there's any way someone so tiny or a mouse could ever help something so mighty like a lion. And he kind of writes it off like whatever. Well, he gets caught in a net, a hunter's net, and the mouse hears him scream. And if you want to hear if the deed is returned by the mouse to the lion, pick up a copy of The Lion and the Mouse and you won't be disappointed. It's a great book.